Hey now, what's going on? All right, I'm gonna do a quick uh, a sketch here. Uh, I've, I've been trying to mix things up instead of drawing cars, but it looks like just people, uh, uh, people just don't care if, I, if I'm if i drawing other stuff. <laughs> they seem to be, uh, preference seems to be a lot of automobiles and things, so, and plus I love it, so, uh, but I, I'm gonna continue to uh, draw many other things just because you know, I'm trying to learn too. I don't, any person who uh, delves into to becoming an artist or a designer, whatever it is, you have to constantly try to reinvent yourself and try to do things or, or learn more and more things and learn more things to draw or more, uh, just improve, improve your skill sets, right? So. So, uh, if you weren't there in the last video, what I'm using, I'm using a software called Krita, which is uh, really a phenomenal piece of, of software. It's, it's completely free. And, and I'm trying to move, not necessarily move completely out of Photoshop. It's just that I, I'm really interested in supporting all these, uh, you know, companies that are, you know, spending a lot of time trying to to provide uh, people with the means to be creative, and uh, that's not easy. It's uh, it's 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 really difficult, and I'm amazed at at how how you know that kind of dedication for people to 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 create something that is readily accessible for people uh, is pretty special. You know, really special. So anyway, what I'm doing right now is just kind of laying out section wise or, or just you know drawing uh, very basic shapes you can see that right how I, I sort of build things out without having to draw uh, the car completely and this is something that used to really stump me quite a bit when I was younger because all these books that would uh, talk about drawing uh, vehicles with squares and rectangles I just I didn't get it. <laughs> it took me a long time to get it actually and now I, I teach the value and and even I myself and I'm just starting off this way because uh, it's just easier it, it's just you know construction wise and getting the construction lines correct making sure uh, construction lines for your perspective are accurate they all are important uh, so this is really uh, trying to when I'm drawing this is to kind of show you uh, why that's important and how that affects your entire drawing right so now I got perspective line coming out and everything is sort of uh, converging into uh, you know the vanishing points here right? so I've got essentially perspective lines going this way but you don't have things that are diverging got things that are you have to they all have to converge this new point so that's sort of how I set set those things up for me when I'm drawing that when I'm when I'm starting my drawing so I know that at least that is correct I, I <laughs> oh boy I tell you drawing is just it's been such a, a fun thing to engage in. And I would argue that uh, you shouldn't even be thinking of, even if you're not a designer, uh, it's okay. You don't have to be a designer to, to draw. Uh, just learning to draw uh, on your own uh, is, is a benefit. It really helps people. You can be seen as a stress reliever can be seen as um, a means to improve the way you think because visual thinking is uh, part of problem solving. And when you can visualize a solution in your head, uh, then you know more power to you, you know? It's really it's really cool. So Anyway, this is just a quick setup here. I don't want to put too much into this drawing, but I, all I wanted to do was just sort of, 
is show you how this software really works and 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 how responsive it is. I mean, it does such a such a clean job. There's no delay, and uh, I just I really really love it. And I'm very much excited about what the prospects are to be able to use this full time uh, as an alternative to what people are typically using out there, right? But you know, you can simulate your line weight. This is pretty close to you know what I've done even with my Prism, own Prisma color pencils, um, which is awesome. <laughs> Prisma colors rock. Uh, they are, you know, they give you that line weight and they give you such a nice strong value range. But uh, anyway, and I'm just gonna make some quick finishing touches. But you can see how. You know, just a basic shape, how I just start to, to transform that basic shape into something. Just going to darken these lines here. And then from here, you know, where do you go from here? Well, you can, you can make now an overlay on top of this, and then you can change the shape. You can, you know, you have a base to work off of. And so good stuff there. Translate this here to the back. Like a van. Sort. Here, I've got a, a I'm trying to remember what it's called. Is it Lazy Susan? <laughs> I got this rotating Lazy Susan, and so right now I, you know, my setup is such that, you know, this is sort of fixed. Sorry for the camera wiggle here, but this is sort of fixed on the table. But then if I put it on my Lazy Susan, then I can rotate it. But I mean, just look at this. I mean, just the, the treatment, very, very close to pencil. It's so cool, so cool. I mean, I love it, love it. So there you have it. Looks, it's kind of like an authentic uh, drawing that you would use even through traditional means. Just a basic shape. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time on one of our, you know, quick shots uh, for um, quick tutorials. Have a good one.